All right, welcome back, guys. It's uh, Saturday morning. Good morning. Um, I hope we all have a uh, an awesome day and a good weekend. Um, figured we'd start this morning with a uh, issue of uh, Speed and Custom from 1963. Now, uh, I just reached down underneath my uh, drawing table where I have stacks of these these old vintage car magazines, and I pulled this one out. And uh, as soon as I did, it ripped the cover off of it, which uh, that's okay. This this magazine has seen its better days. It's uh, been well looked through, I guess, over the years by probably several different owners have had it. And uh, now I have it. But um, anyways, let's take a peek at it and see what's going on with it. 1963 issue. Um, what is this? Electroplating. What is, uh, plates new metal as you brush. So I'm guessing that's a can of silver paint. Huh. Uh, training for uh, big pay made simple. Another one of those schools that you could go and uh, learn a trade from. Probably right out of the, uh, your mailbox. I bet you would uh, pay so much money and they would send you uh, lessons through the mail. Kind of neat. You know, that before the internet, that's probably how they did a lot of this stuff. Here's a here's an ad for J.C. Whitney. And uh, as a kid, I used to grab these J.C. Whitney catalogs, and I would piece together a car, usually starting with, the, they had a tea bucket body you could buy, and then a frame, and, um, and then you would kind of piece it together, you know, and just kind of dream about building a car, I guess. Uh, what else is in here? A lot of advertisements. Uh, Craig Breedlove, the fastest man on wheels, out of Los Angeles, uh, California. I don't remember uh, how fast he went. The Elegant Express, 61 Chevy Impala, 1963. That's how they did it, I guess. Look at that. Got the uh, Appleton uh, dummy spot lamps on it. Uh, Dick Anderson, 402 cubic Chevy Fuhrer. Kind of neat. Showing you the uh, motor work, what they did to that car. Huh. Build your own chassis. 1963 style. That's kind of neat. Yeah, a lot of these magazines, I buy them, you know, for the uh, reference. And, uh, you know, whether I'm building a, a model car of the, you know, 60s or whatever, or I, I just want to draw something, and I, I get, you know, inspired by uh, looking at some of this older stuff. Because I like to draw a lot of car stuff. This to make a neat little model here, the T-Bucket, with a uh, Chevy six-cylinder in it. I think it's a Chevy. I'm looking through the uh, camera. I, I really can't make it out. Looks like it said it, it went 134 miles an hour. That little six banger, 1963. Handcrafted hauler. That's a sweet car. Ramrodder's rocket. Oh, look at that. Topolino Fiat. That's always been like one of my favorite little race cars, drag cars. That little Topolino body. You know, I'm glad that uh, that new kit just came out. Looks like at a car show. See different trophies with it. Cars in the background. Kind of neat. Ooh, look at that Corvette. That Corvette reminds me of, uh, what was it, Hot Rods to Hell, the movie. It had a roll bar like this, and the girl sat up on top. And uh, they terrorized a... Uh, a family uh, that was just moving to town out in the middle of the desert somewhere. I think he got even by the end of the movie. I won't uh, I won't spoil it for you. Thirteen twenty engineering special. Look at that. 
white wall slicks and white wall front tires, 1963. There's a Stingray Corvette, 427 Ford Stingray. That's pretty wild. Got a, a Ford motor and a Corvette. Yeah, there it is. There it is right there. Fiberglass for your custom. There's a tilt front end for a 55 Chevy fiberglass. Inner fender wheel wells. I'm not sure what that is. But uh, I'm sure it's fiberglass. Whatever it is. Yeah, 63. I'm pretty sure fiberglass was... Uh, you know, well, in 53, they did that Corvette. I believe it was in fiberglass. And I'm sure they were doing bolt holes. And, uh, and then the car guys got onto it. And they were making fiberglass tea bucket bodies and, and fenders and all kinds of stuff. Indy winners. Model cars. All right. Well, now you're talking. Look at that thing. That's awesome there. They're all really cool because you know those are all uh, handcrafted and and sanded and puttied and almost balsa wood uh, panels and stuff like that. Yeah, these guys are just making cool models. Modifying monograms 55 Chevy into a wild blown gasser. You know, if you ever get a chance to grab that original issue of that 55 Chevy uh, monogram kit, it's a little pricey now, but you, you might run across one somewhere. Grab it, because it, it makes a really nice drag car, a really nice custom with a bubble top, and uh, you can make a stock version out of that kit. And it's actually a, a pretty nice uh, 55 kit. I want to say they only came in a, a red and a teal. There's a uh, big tub. They had a whole series of uh, the big T, the big tub, the big drag. You know, um, you know. Of course, and then they made the the big thirty two. There's a Tweety Pie Ravel kit. Ed Roth. What are these? Uh, metal and plastic hinges. I guess you could buy hinges back then. You know, we just make our own out of brass tubing. But uh, at this time, you know, this stuff was pretty new. 63. What is this? Reader's Car Show. So, uh, yeah, if you were uh, buying this magazine and uh, you wanted your car in the magazine, send them some pictures. It's pretty neat. Because then you got bragging rights with all your buddies. You know, look at that 56 Chevy two-door hardtop Bel Air. That car was, was what, uh, seven years old at that time. And I bet you could buy that car for 700 bucks. Even less, years later. Jersey Jewel. It's like a... 55 through 57 T-Bird. Uh, I'm not really sure. But, yeah. Well, it's got custom tail lights. But anyways, guys. I just thought I'd share this one with you real quick. Saturday morning. Uh, start your day. This is kind of neat. Uh, people would send in their drawings. Draw your dream car. I wonder if it has the ages of the guys that actually sent them in. You know, you know, when I was like 10 and 11, I always wanted to draw cars and whatever and send them into a magazine. You know, that's probably why I like that uh, cartoons magazine so much as a kid. I have a bunch of the old ones, too. If you guys would like to see that stuff, let me know in the comments down below. Um, I'll dig them out. And, uh... We can grab a cup of coffee and, and kick back and check them out. But um, anyways, guys, I'll make it quick. Um, I just wanted to uh, do a quick uh, magazine and coffee for you. Guys, have a good Saturday. Nice weekend. Um, and I will.
we'll be seeing you on the next one. Give me a, a sub if you haven't, uh, a like, and definitely leave me a comment. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. See you next time.